I invited Luther, my anger translator, to join me here tonight. Hold on to your lily white butts. Well, Republicans <laughs> seem to support one fella, some guy named Brandon. He's having a really good year. And look, Fox, Fox News, I'm, I'm really sorry your preferred candidate lost the last election. To make it up to you, I'm happy to give my chief of staff to you all so he can tell Sean Hannity what to say every day. Now, after the midterm elections, my advisors asked me, Mr. President, do you have a bucket list? And I said, well, I have something that rhymes with bucket list. <laughs> you remember the year I mentioned Ozzy Osbourne and he stood up on the chair and blew me a kiss? <laughs> So few leaders get that kind of experience. I am married to the President of the United States, and here's our typical evening. Nine o'clock. Mr. Excitement here is sound asleep, and I'm watching Desperate Housewives. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a Desperate Housewife. They've only got seven more months to investigate me. That's a lot of pressure. So little time. So many unanswered questions. <laughs> For example, over the last few months, I've lost 10 pounds. Where did they go? He said that I was supposed to get up here and make the press laugh. Well, there's nothing I like better than a challenge. I stood here tonight and I made fun of the President of the United States, and I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine, right? <laughs> you know, because you could have picked any comedian. You could have invited anyone, but you went with the South African variants. Very on theme. Evening. Here we are, the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Like a porn star says when she's about to have sex with a Trump, let's get this over with. Trump's also an idea guy. He's got loads of ideas. You gotta love him for that. He wants to give teachers guns, and I support that, because then they can sell them for things they need, like supplies. Mayor Nagan. I'd like to welcome you to Washington, D.C., the chocolate city with a marshmallow center and a graham cracker crust of corruption. I believe in democracy. I believe democracy is our greatest export, at least until China figures out a way to stamp it out of plastic for three cents a unit.